Hey y'all, JS Creations Art Sanity here. So today I'm working on a 16 by 20 canvas and I'm going to be using all Artist Loft ready mixed paints. So I'm covering the board with, that's a titanium white, um, just making sure the whole thing's covered. I will come back in with a little bit more and my spatula just to smooth everything out. And then I will uh, come in here with my torch. I notice when using these paints, they do they they trap a lot of air, and so you really want to make sure that you uh, use your torch and get all those air bubbles popped. So I'm going to come in here at the top and pour some black across the top there because I'm going to do a swipe and I'm going to swipe down. And today I'm going to use, um, it's a plastic tool, I think it's for laying grout, um, but you don't have to use this. It, this was just in my drawer and I grabbed it and that's what I'm using today. Usually I will just um, spritz the bottom half of a paper towel with some water and swipe with that. You can use a piece of plastic, cardboard, whatever you have with a straight edge will work. And so I just uh, keep swiping that until I'm happy with what I have. Um, and here I'm using the paint that is on there to just kind of make sure that my sides are all covered. Now, usually when, when I use, when I do a swipe with paints that I have mixed up and I mix my paints with Floetrol and water, they will automatically make cells, um, especially after I hit it with a torch. These ready mixed paints, I noted, they don't do that. So I will come in here with the Artist Loft silicone oil and I just put a little bit on that lid there and then I use, uh, I'm not even sure what the tool is, um, that tool there, um, it's rubber and two sides have teeth. Um, a small tooth and a, and a bigger tooth and then the other two sides are just a straight edge. I am using the the uh, bigger tooth side and I'm just dipping it in the silicone oil and then just dotting it on my canvas and you could see that it's now making the cells. And I just keep doing that until I reach the bottom of this canvas. And I'm wipe, I wipe it off on that um, paper towel over there every so often, just because the, the paint starts to build up on the end of it. So yeah, I just keep doing this till the bottom of the canvas and then I bring you in for a close up. And these cells are so cool. They're just they're just perfect little little cells. So neat. There they are. Aren't those so cool?
So now I'm going to come in here with my colors and I'm using phalo blue, turquoise, and aqua green. And I just make puddles because um, I'm going to make, I'm going to use a balloon and I'm going to make flowers. So right now I'm just um, kind of laying out where I want my flowers to be and I'm just putting puddles of the colored paint there and I just layer it one on top of the other the colors and then I'll come in here with a balloon and just smush those out to where they they look like flowers And here we go and I just keep just keep doing that until I I like what I have now I don't wipe the balloon off after every dip um, I do it after um, two or three just um, I just want to make sure that I don't muddy my colors so yeah basically I just keep doing this I will come in here at times and add more um, more puddles uh, wherever I think that I need a little a little more make more flowers and just keep repeating this um, until yeah I, I get something that I like now that middle section there I do leave that as is
So this is my falling flowers piece. I hope you guys enjoyed the process. Thank you so much for watching. I will have all the supplies listed in the description. Please like, share, and subscribe. And leave me a comment. Let me know what you think of this piece. Please consider joining me over on Facebook. I will have that link in the description as well. And I want to say Happy Mother's Day to all you mothers out there. Again, thank you everyone for watching. I really appreciate it. Until next time.